As we know, there are smart devices for pretty much everything out there. And now AirPop has come out with a smart mask. That's right. This mask connects to your smartphone and gives you a bunch of information. It's the first wearable, air wearable? It's the AirPop, the world's first air wearable. That's what they're claiming is. Anyway, stick around and we'll talk more about it. Welcome back to another video. In this video, uh, we're gonna be talking about the AirPop smart mask. This was first announced at CES um, this year, 2021, and it was announced for pre-order. I pre-ordered it and we just got it a little bit ago. This is the AirPop um, smart mask. They have a lot of different masks in their lineup to choose from. This one was interesting because it's the very first smart mask on the market. And essentially what it does is it connects to your smartphone via Bluetooth with this Bluetooth adapter right here. And it is going to take measurements of the um, amount of breaths you're taking. Um, it has a kind of a motion um, a fitness app built into it as well. But what really is unique about it is it will measure the amount of breaths you take, tell your phone how the filter is doing inside and whether or not um, you need to replace the filter. And it also will tell you, based off of the air quality in your location, how much pollutants that the mask filtered out. So it's kind of interesting. It's a little bit of a gimmick, but it definitely is um, interesting to know these different parameters. So um, the mask itself comes with a fabric, kind of a mesh um, outside liner. And then it does come with four filters that, put into, that you can put into it. The filters each last 40 hours um, of use. And then they say after that, you should throw it away and, and get your next one out. Um, and because the mask and the Bluetooth adapter track the use of the filter, you just look at your phone and it'll tell you when you need to replace the filter. So it's not necessarily, it's 40 hours of use. So these filters can last you quite a bit of time. Um, you will scan a QR code on the filter pack packaging itself to tell the app that you've put a new one in and that starts, starts that countdown because it is measuring the breaths that you take. So um, the mask is pretty cool. It comes with a little carrying handle so you can fold it up, throw in this little carrying pouch and put it in your bag and then obviously or your car and when you're going to the store, take it out, put it on. Um, but the wearable is, is pretty interesting. So let's take a look at the app and see all that the app will actually tell you. So as we take a look at the app here, on this screen, it'll show you how many breaths you've taken, um, what the air quality is for the day, and um, how long you've been wearing it. So you can get some basic information. It shows you, um, again, the air quality for the week and days that you've worn the mask and days that you should be wearing the mask, your how many breaths you've taken, the amount of time you've worn it, the pollutants that's captured based off of the quality of the air around you. Um, those are kind of the details that it shows you on this main screen. As we go into the calendar mode, it shows you the air quality for the month, days that you should be wearing a mask, days that you have, and of course, when, when you didn't. On this screen, it gives you a quick snapshot of the air quality for the week and the air quality of where you are broken down by the hour. So that's convenient to show you when you really should be wearing a mask if you're going outside. Um, and then obviously total wear time. You can connect to the mask with the connect button. It does sync automatically, but if you find that your information hasn't synced over, you can just hit that sync button. It uses Bluetooth, and then it'll show you the life of the filter. These filters are rated for 40 hours of continuous use, so it's gonna keep track of that for you and tell you when you need to replace the filter. So that's what the app will show you. What's interesting on these filters that I think is interesting to look at is the filters just buckle in and out. But um, what's unique about these filters, they are, the, the company does claim that they uh, will filter out, it's 99% um, of particles at 2.5. Um, and there's a bunch of information on their website about the mask information and what it filters out. I'm gonna leave that all up to them. I'll put links in the description for you to read all about it. But what I do find interesting on the filter itself is that it has a complete rubber seal all the way around. So where most of the KN95 masks that we're used to seeing now that are re readily available at the stores look similar in their appearance, they don't have this rubber seal. So what's nice about this is when you put this, this mask on, the rubber seal really does seal all around your nose and mouth, and it actually comes with these little rubber flaps that you can flip up and put this over your nose. So you have a set that seals the nose, a set that comes up, and this is great for wearing glasses. It helps prevent um, airflow up through your glasses and fogging of the glasses. I really do feel like when I'm wearing this mask, especially with this rubber gasket that goes all the way around your mouth, 
I do really feel a tight seal. Compare this with then the breathability of the, the mesh outside kind of layer of the mask. It isn't hard to breathe through at all, but it does give you great protection according to the company. So um, that's what I found is the most interesting is that these filters come with that rubber gasket all the way around, which give you a good seal to your face, plus the Bluetooth adapter that is measuring the amount of breaths you're taking in, comparing it with the air quality of your location and telling you how, how much of smog and particles is filtering out is pretty interesting. So um, for you techies out there that want a tech mask, this is the first one on the market. So um, go out, check them out. It's called AirPop. And again, you get four of these filters on it. Each filter lasts 40 hours. So there's a, a lot of mask here. Um, and it certainly is a gimmick. Um, but it's, it's fun to have, you know, we have to wear a mask. If you're a techie like me, at least get one that's smart and can tell you how it's helping you out during your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, give us a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And thanks for watching.